The recent increase in premium motor spirit and electricity tariff has resulted in agitations from various quarters as Nigerians say the government is inconsiderate, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, which has affected sources of livelihood and earnings. But the federal government says subsidizing fuel is no longer feasible, especially with the reduction of the nation's revenue by 60%. Minister of Information and Culture Lai Mohamed, alongside Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Timmy Pre Silva and Minister of Power, briefing newsmen on Monday in Abuja, explained that the Buhari administration is not unmindful of the pain associated with the removal of subsidy. Mohamed stressed that the cost of fuel subsidy is too high and unsustainable, adding that from 2006 to 2019, fuel subsidy gulped 10.413 trillion naira. Government can no longer afford to subsidize petrol prices because of its mainly negative consequences. This includes a return to the cost of subsidy regime. With 60% less revenues today, we cannot afford the cost. The second danger is the potential return of fuel queues, which has thankfully become a thing of the past under this administration. The days in which Nigerians queue for hours and days just to buy petrol, often at very high prices, are gone for good. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pre Silva, also throws more light and calls for understanding. If you have a situation for privately, where you have lost 60% of your income, due to no fault of yours, strictly speaking. Because in the whole world, nobody prepared for COVID-19. COVID-19 happened on us and immediately eroded demand for our product, our most important product, which is crude oil. On the hike in electricity tariff, the minister also explains that to keep the industry going, government has so far spent almost 1.7 trillion naira, especially by way of supplementing tariffs shortfall. But he assures that the regulator has approved that tariff adjustment be made only based on guaranteed improvement in service. Under this new arrangement, only customers with a guaranteed minimum of 12 hours of electricity per day can have their tariff adjusted. Those who get less than 12 hours supply will experience no increase. This is the largest group of customers. Given a comparative analysis of petrol prices in the sub-region in Naira equivalent, the Buhari-led administration says, despite the recent increase, the price of fuel and electricity in Nigeria remains the lowest in the West and Central African sub-region. Clara Kiba, Court, TV News, Abuja.